So no doubt you guys know that I love, love, love enameled cast iron for a variety of reasons. It has all the benefits of cast iron, which means that it is very, very resistant to changes in temperature. Once it grabs on to temperature or to heat, it holds on to it, which means you can sear, you can cook things low and slow, you can do pretty much lots of different things with it. And enameled cast iron has none of those drawbacks. Uh, no need to worry about seasoning, no need to worry about washing it properly, no need to worry about acidic or reactive foods like things with tomato sauces, wine, things like that, damaging the seasoning or leaching off uh, iron particles into your food. Really great. As you guys definitely also know, uh, Le Creuset is considered the Rolls Royce, the gold standard of enameled cast iron, but most of their pots and pans are Rolls Royce prices. You know, we're talking 200, 300 bucks for a Dutch oven. Lodge, which makes lots of, you know, phenomenal, I want to say, raw cast iron pans and pots. Very, very well known for their cast iron skillets made in America. Lodge has come out with an answer to that. They've made enameled cast iron, only a few pieces, nowhere near as crazy as Le Creuset's amazing uh, selection, but they're starting small. So first and foremost, this probably costs around like $45, $50 compared to the comparable size Le Creuset being about uh, $300. So that's off the bat. I'm gonna make a comparison video, but for now I'm just gonna do an unboxing video and show you guys exactly what the Lodge enameled cast iron pieces are and we'll talk about it from there. So, there we go. This is, I believe, made in China, by the way, uh, but I've actually done a bunch of research and looked it up, and even though it's made in China, it's, it's very, very high standards. So there's no reason to really be worried about that, uh, and a lot of people sometimes are worried about buying things from China. It doesn't seem to be a problem here. Off the bat, I mentioned this with Le Creuset as well. You might think this is raw cast iron, but it's not. It is matte black enamel. They put it all over the entire piece, and then they do the sand cast iron enamel on the interior and the color on the outside. This is the lid. This It's the actual Dutch oven. So a few things of note. First and foremost, it has a stainless steel handle, which I'll show you guys right there. So it has a nice little stainless steel handle, which means it's going to be able to withstand lots and lots and lots of temperature changes. It has sort of a similar color to the Cherry by Le Creuset, which is darker on the edges and uh, lighter on the outside. It has these very nice wide grip handles, which means you can use of gloves and oven mitts when you're using them, bringing them out of the oven. Like I said, I'm gonna do a comparison video, but one of the things of note is, I'm not sure if you can tell, it has very curved sides, it has sloped sides, which means unlike Le Creuset that almost has sides going straight down and then out, this is going to give you a lot less area for searing. It's probably only as big as my hand, even though here it's like a hand and a half. So the actual workable surface down there, if you're going to be doing things like searing, is much smaller than a Le Creuset. But then again, it's going to be about, uh, what is it, one-sixth the price, so that's something you might want to consider. It's a very nicely built uh, Dutch oven, very nice lines where they have the changes in enamel. I'm just looking it over right now, trying to give my opinions. The finish of the interior is definitely a lot more, uh, I guess, orange peely than the Le Creuset. Le Creuset is very smooth and nice. With this, you can tell they didn't really care as much about the final sort of uh, fit and finish of it, but it is very well made. I mean, at the end of the day, it's cast iron, so who really cares? It's enameled cast iron. Uh, but I think that if you're looking to save 200 bucks, 300 bucks, you don't really care about the name brand, you're okay with getting 80% of what the... Uh, the item does for a sixth of the price, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal choice for you. I'm going to put a link down below. Like I said, I'm going to make a separate video talking about the actual differences directly between the two. But this is the six quart large enameled Dutch oven. Uh, I'll put a link down below. And if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know. But otherwise, I'll talk to you very soon.